what's going on guys um, welcome uh, to Coraya wood and welcome to the next uh, video on C++ um, we are um, um, running uh, C++ uh, and we are on macros the C++ uh, preprocessor in the last uh, video we, di we discussed the define uh, macro and we said that you guys need to put the hash and put the name and put anything at the front you guys put an integer but you guys don't need to put this equal sign and uh, semicolon all right so in this video we start our um, project with a uh, uh, new project and we put it console application all right so we go ahead and we put in c plus plus and so my uh, project I'm gonna create in desktop you guys can cr create anywhere so we put in macro macro pre uh, so with macro pre processor so that's how we're gonna name our uh, project and we gonna finish and we coming to the source as you already guys already you guys should be familiar with this all right so we've got to see out hello world and we're going to get rid of this off and we're going to start with our macro we said that uh, if you guys uh, put a define here so you guys put your macro but it has to be in uh, capital letters so you guys can put a one and you guys can put another define you guys can put a 10 and you guys can put another define so this all uh, pre-processor macros you can you guys uh, can put in different files as well but at the moment uh, for um, just to uh, introducing you guys so you guys get familiar with this and uh, so you guys um, practice like this so it's a lot easier if you guys practice like this so you guys put a my name is has done in my case your case you can put your name as you guys noticed we don't put any um, equal signs or uh, semicolons here we just put a define and with the hash you guys see here that we discussed in the last video you guys already using this preprocessor include i stream so you guys can put say uh, include cstd CSTD lib you guys can put C standard library or you guys can put a input output stream uh, you guys can put anything but uh, so as I said that define one and you put guys put a value of one and you guys can put a value of 10 10 and you guys can put even a value of 100 uh doesn't matter but as long as you guys put something here so i'll gonna put it 100 100 100 and you guys can put a one zero at the front and this is a literal string this is called literal string in c plus plus but if you guys put anything uh it says it will show so if you guys put a i uh, forgot to put the name you guys can put a my name or my name all right so this is one and this is glued to this one this is 10 this is glued to the value for this one this is 100 and we already defined it looks like we are defining if you guys done php see similar like php you have to define everything whatever you guys want to put but the difference with the uh, php and c plus plus is we define through macros or we define through our uh, variables we create the variables so we come here and put a c out and we put a we don't need to put anything we just put a my name because we already defined my name and will so now I'm not going to put anything just I'm going to put a reference number whatever you guys call it you want a macro here I'm going to use this macro 
and I'm gonna run my uh, pro program so and you guys see that uh, it's displaying my name is yes Danny because uh, but it's not uh, displaying this this part because it's going to display this part because all we want is this part as I said before as soon as C++ comes in counter this it's going to display this so uh, we again put a C out say you guys gonna put a hundred and you put an endl and as if you see it's going to display hundred see it's displaying hundred and other thing is that um, if you put a c out and the sum of of 10 and 11 is okay because it needs to be inside the uh, literal string okay the sum of 10 and 11 is and we put a uh, 10 uh, plus sorry plus 1 okay and oh all right so I made a mistake here the sum of 10 and 1 is because we don't have 11 here we have 1 all right so we see if um, our program executes with um, okay as you guys see that uh, my name is Yazdani is displaying here and it's 100 and the sum of 10 and 1 is 11 so that's how we you guys can put anything as I mean from anything I mean you guys can put anything you can uh, put a define so define two up to you you guys can put 200 or 300 or you guys can put a pi or the value of pi you guys can put a any formula here as, as long as you guys uh, put something here with capital letters and something here you can not put negative uh, in lowercase it has to be in uppercase so for the C++ to interpret this as a um, uh, symbolic constant because with the constant if you guys familiar with the programming with the constants always uppercase you have to use uppercase and with that when we use const in other so re, so const const sorry if you put a const you can do the same thing my my uh, family or my name or my country you can do the same thing and you can put a value here so uh it's defined 10 and if your guys can put a defined thousand say uh you come down here and put a defined thousand and you can put one thousand here or one million or you guys can put can define anything as long as you guys happy with so if you guys uh, define thousand and we put a C out C out and we put a thousand thousand and we put an end L to end our line uh, you guys can put um, 10 and you guys can put uh, another literal string to break the line as we already explained that you guys can do that to break the line you guys can put something here as well to break the line all right so we come down so, okay there's a problem here okay so we go ahead and you guys see that uh, our thousands is displaying and we can uh, our arithmetic which we perform that uh, 10 plus 1 is 11 uh, is displaying you guys can even put a 10 and 10 or a thousand you guys can reuse your uh, macro 
uh, 10 and 10 is all right so as you guys see that the V it says 20 and here we did not use any number but just a reference that's a constant we're using our symbolic constants our macro so you guys can call this symbolic constant macro and whatever is here is C++ preprocessor you guys can even put this one down so what I'll do is that using namespace down here and you can put all your uh, symbolic constants on top and ah so looks like I uh, using namespace okay sorry for the typo it's a bit hard for talk to talk and uh, type at the same time all right so we put our namespace down uh, because this is already open we close it and we coming here again and you guys look at here that is working perfect no problem so this is the definition of uh, macro the C++ uh, preprocessor this is just the beginning I'm going to show you guys how to put your if in end if and uh, undefined and define and line and uh, prick in the next few videos but I am just wanted to introduce you guys to this uh, define so how you're going to uh, do your define you guys can put a define mac define pi and you guys can put the value of pi whatever the value of pi is you guys can uh, put define define anything but as long as uh, it's in uppercase because it's symbolic constant and you guys put something in here that the value but you guys don't need this um, equal sign and semicolon stay away from uh, these ones because you guys don't need this in uh, symbolic constant the C++ preprocessor so at this part this is the place where C++ gonna preprocess but you guys if you guys put say uh, my name that's some in literal string it's not gonna work so say my name if you guys put in a literal string I'm gonna remove this it's not gonna work because this is a literal string the computers uh, treating this see it says my name because it's not gonna work you guys don't need to put this uh, 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 wrap it around here you guys don't need this uh, quote mark but you guys need to I'm gonna go back with a uh, control Z so it's it's a good idea if you guys get familiarize yourself with the control C for copy control V for paste control Z to go back and control Y to go forward so as a programmer C++ programmer so you go it's a, a lot useful when you when you guys typing instead of thinking all right that's it for this video and thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye